thyroid and parathyroid glands. Thyroid gland is a very important organ in ultrasound. Not only for nodules, for cancer, other diseases like hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, Hashimoto disease are very important in thyroid scan for sonographers. The thyroid is very easy to recognize where is is the anterior inferior part of the neck, inferior to the larynx, anterior to the trachea. You can see here in the graphic the thyroid, posterior is the esophagus and the trachea, lateral are the carotid, lateral and anterior are the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Same here, jugular carotid, the thyroid gland, the trachea posterior the sternocleidomastoid are lateral and anterior to the thyroid gland. This is for comparison. Thyroid, trachea, carotid is the letter C, jugular, everything that is in the graphic is also in the ultrasound picture. The thyroid has two lobes, and these two lobes are connected by like a bridge that is called the isthmus. It's also very important to measure the isthmus when you are scanning thyroid. There are some people that have a little part that is called the pyramidal lobe that is superior to the isthmus. In adult, the thyroid in general is to 4 to 6 centimeter, and in the anteroposterior is to 1 to 2 centimeters. In general, the isthmus is less than 1 centimeter. But the thyroid is very variable. Different people have different thyroid, and that does not mean that is abnormal. But when the anterior posterior diameter is more than two centimeters, the thyroid gland may be considered enlarged. This is called goiter. Normal, the parenchyma in ultrasound is homogeneous, like the liver like the spleen, like other organs. And this is the reason it's very easy to find cyst or hypoechoic mass in the thyroid. There are a hyperechoic capsule around the thyroid that is relatively easy to find. With Doppler that helps a lot, you can find that the thyroid is a high vascular organ like other glands. Glands in general have a high vascularity and that makes, when you use color Doppler, you can find a lot of color. This is the example of power Doppler and you can see the thyroid with a lot of color. The strap muscles are anterior to the thyroid, are a lot, but the more important are the sternoid and the homoid. But there are other little muscles that are there, not too much important for thyroid scan. The sternocleidomastoid muscle 
are lateral and anterior and a very important landmark for the localization of the thyroid gland. The longus colon muscles are posterior to the thyroid. And the esophagus that in the graphic is posterior to the trachea, in general is posterior to the left lobe of the thyroid, but can be in other positions. It's a landmark to scan but it's not really important. The function of the thyroid is the production of thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones use iodine that is an element in food and water. The thyroid gland has a big capacity to concentrate iodine, like 90% of the iodine is concentrated very fast in the thyroid gland. The thyroid secretes the thyroid hormone that controls the metabolism of the body. And the thyroid hormones are stored in the colloid. Colloid is a part of the follicles of the thyroid. You can see here a follicle. It's like a cyst with a material inside called colloid. Inside the colloid are the thyroid hormones. This is our picture, microscopic, about the thyroid. You can see the colloid inside the follicles of the thyroid gland. The anterior hypothalamus produces a hormone called thyrotropin releasing factor. This hormone stimulates the production of thyrotropin from the pituitary gland and thyrotropin stimulate the production of thyroxine from the thyroid gland. Thyroxine control metabolism but also control the production of thyrotropin and thyrotropin releasing factor from the hypothalamus and the pituitary. To review, thyroid releasing hormone produced by the hypothalamus, thyroid stimulating hormone released by the anterior pituitary, thyrotropin stimulate thyroid, thyroid produce thyroxine and thyroxine have a negative feedback to the pituitary and hypothalamus. When there are a good quantity of thyrotropin, there are a negative feedback. And when the levels of thyrotoxin are low, the pituitary gland produces more thyrotropin. Pituitary produces thyrotropin, Thyroid produces thyroxine and thyroxine have a negative feedback to the pituitary gland. The thyroid gland produces three hormones. T4 that is called thyroxine, T3 that is called triiodothyronine and calcitonin that is not related.